currently at the Global Fund. And I was trying to think about, well, what does DHIS2 mean to me? And a lot. Uh, you know, over half of my career has been implementing DHIS2 since 2011. And the one word that kind of keeps coming back to me is unifying. It's been such a unifying force. It's been such a unifying system. It's bringing together people from around the world to talk about um, different challenges within implementation. And so, uh, you know, it's a really hopeful kind of uh, movement and initiative. And so um, I continue to come back to the fact that it has such a powerful force, uh, particularly within public health, but now even expanding beyond that. Uh, and so I continue to be excited for the future. I think, you know, initially when I started working within DHIS2, I was coming at it from the NGO perspective. PSI was the first uh, NGO to implement DHIS2 at an enterprise level. Um, and that actually had a fairly uh, compounding effect in terms of getting other NGOs um, to buy into being able to understand how to use and implement um, and support the system at the national level. It's all about the countries and it's all about the support, but when you have implementing partners that are also using the same system, that impact is kind of compounded and that is the sort of unifying force that I talk about. So I am implementing the first semi-automated direct donor reporting system with DHIS2 uh, at the Global Fund. And the idea is that we're uh, using uh, the new data exchange app to act as an exchange mechanism for uh, Ministry of Health or principal recipients of, of Global Fund grants to send performance data directly to the Global Fund. And it's the type of project where you have to see sort of the bigger picture in order to understand how impactful it can be. And in this sense, this is really the first example in time that we've seen the possibility to use um, standardized metadata packages, but could potentially be standardized across donors or across implementing partners in a way that would mean that we continue to reduce um, the duplication of systems and create, you know, just one standardized metadata package and in that way everyone can benefit from this type of architecture um, to share information from one source and not parallel reporting sources.